Salamat supporters of Marcos Jr. and Lenny Robredo. I learned many things from the comments of yesterday's TikTok. Nako, 3,000 comments in yun. Actually, more than 3,000. And I noticed something. There is a lot of misinformation. Initial findings of Check.pa show that Lenny Robredo is the biggest victim of this information, while former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. is the beneficiary of positive but misleading messaging on social media. Let me tell you something. So ito lang, kung walang facts, hindi ka magkakaroon ng katotohanan. Kung walang katotohanan, hindi ka magkakaroon ng tiwala. Kung walang tiwala, wala tayong pinagsasaluhan ng katotohanan. At walang demokrasya. Nagiging kasangkapan ang social media sa pagbubuga ng kasinungalingan at poot. I will just mention an example of these two presidential candidates. Sabi ninyo, Marcos Jr. is the most prepared and the most trustworthy presidential candidate. Misleading ito. We all know that Marcos Jr. lied about his academic credentials, lied to the courts about his family's ill-gotten wealth, lied about human rights abuses, and failed to file his income tax return. How can a liar and a tax delinquent be considered trustworthy? Ito yung sinulat ni Andrew Masigan sa Business World Online. As for his governance abilities, look at Ilocos Norte. Marcos Jr and his kin controlled Ilocos Norte for decades. Yet, it remains one of the poorest regions in the country where the majority live from hand to mouth. Let's go to Lenny Robredo. Sabi niyo, oligarch daw siya. Alam niyo ba ang definition ng oligarch? Webster defines oligarch as a member of a small governing faction. A member of an oligarchy. Do you know what oligarchy means? It's a government by the few. A government in which a small group exercises control, especially for corrupt and selfish purposes. So isipin niyo na lang. By that definition, she is not an oligarch. She lives in the apartment her husband's in-laws in Naga. Also, the condominium in Manila is from her in-laws. Pipi Lenny lives a simple life. The fact is, Marcos was the oligarch of oligarchs. In 1998, Imelda bragged in an Inquirer interview, we practically own everything in the Philippines. From electricity, telecommunications, airlines, banking, beer, tobacco, newspaper publishing, television stations, shipping, oil mining, hotels, resort, down to coconut milling, small farms, real estate, and insurance. Ito na lang. The battle for facts need you. Suriin mo yung sariling mga pagkiling at kung paano maaaring makita ng iyong pananaw ang mga bagay na gusto mong makita. Check your bias. Tanungin ang inyong sarili. Tinanggap ko ba ito dahil sa aking paniniwala? Naniwala ba ako dahil ako isang taga-supporta ng oposisyon or kaya kay Marcos or Robredo? Ang, ang mga kasinungalingan ay kailangan pabulaanan. Kung walang katotohanan, maaaring wala ang integridad ang mga demokratikong institusyon. Ang mga tao ay nangangailangan ng tumpak na impormasyon kung saan ibabatay ang kanilang mga desisyon at upang timbangin ang merito ng kanilang pagpipilian. So check your facts. 